What's up? I go back here. I'm try to turn on some more lights. I got other lights attached around here so I can get more view on me, but I don't know where the shit's at. Shit's everywhere. Like shit's stashed and stacked. So many damn uh, boxes. I spent thousands of dollars on Amazon buying tools and shit. And I don't know where half the stuff is around here. Well, I thought I had more lights. I got this one as I can light. It's pretty, pretty damn bright. Like, like my uh, shirt. Got to make three. Gotta make you three. Little flat earth shirt. Had it custom made. Just chilling here, saying hi to everybody. Chilling time. Oh, more achy. I need exercise. I need work. <laughs> Well, that's coming. Just going to flick around for a little bit. Uh, heads up, uh, if you're watching my channel, I'm going to be heading out. I was going to head out tomorrow. But a uh, little man, little Bradley, uh, got upset that I was leaving. His birthday's the third, and which is Wednesday, so I'm going to stick around for his birthday. Give him an awesome birthday gift. And then Thursday, I'm going to head out, go see my family down south eastern Kentucky, then travel across the country, go up to Colorado, go to a different place in Colorado, go see uh, Bishop's Mock, uh, Eventually, I'd like to make my way out there to Arizona, Gardena. That's a long-term plan. But uh, I had a big list of stuff, tools and stuff that I could have talked about. Maybe tomorrow, but uh, yeah, hopefully everything works out. I'm going to have a huge garden this year, feed a lot of people, and just be happy and merry and free. And, feel a lot and get in shape, you know, I'm ready to work my ass off just for the principle of getting myself in shape and doing good things, so I'm out of shape, <laughs> look at those muscles, not really, <laughs> but, oh, my back's killing me, sitting on this bed, it's one of those uh, forming beds, whatever, I bought a nice one on Amazon, it just sucks you in. Oh, it's putting covers under my tail and push it up. Oh, there it goes. It just popped in. Well, uh, if you have any requests, let me know. I'm getting ready to go on an adventure. Going to do some live feeds from my phone. I don't know how good it is. It's probably better than this, you know. Got one little bulb here. This one burning out. I got a short wire up here. And, uh, Got a lot of work to do on this thing, but that'll come after I do some work, you know. Had this thing up in the window over there and it got cold, so I know my strings are staying. Even the next cold is like, it got real cold. I don't even know what temperature is in the 30s. So that'll work strings. I had nothing playing in my head to play, so I don't know what I'm doing. Him crawling the
recording myself. I'm not trying to incriminate myself, not trying to press anyone. If you're here to hang out, whatever, that's cool. Feel free to comment if you want to. Thank you. 
Guess what? In the future, they're going to have Karen beers. Back in the day, it was Stella's, and now it's going to be Karen's. Oh, I am no metal god. For he always a god that has created the metal. <laughs> tuna fish three days in a row, third day got my stomach. <laughs> yeah, so halfway through I had to throw it out. <laughs> yeah, I can tune a guitar by ear. I can't remember the last time I've ever even seen a guitar tune. Not bad, I paid eighteen dollars for this guitar. <laughs> Almost the basic area where it's at, uh, Jim Morrison. Yeah, uh, he's been forming to what they wanted to form them to. He'd have been so great. He was only 27 when he died. Could you imagine the shit he'd have out if he'd still be alive today? Poor decision. Could be the effect of it. 
when I sit here and I smoke and I drink, but I, I'm not fucking eating hands full of fucking acid, mushrooms, ecstasy, fucking whoring around, fucking just going fucking shitball crazy. You know, yeah, he's very intelligent. That's why he was beaten down and arrested for going on stage and saying, you're all fucking slaves. He was speaking the truth, you know. Like, there's so much he put into his music. He's a genius, really. That's why I like him. He put a lot of thought and effort into what he did, man. We don't have that in today's society. Could you imagine, like, some kids just coming up with something mind-blowing like that this day? Yeah, he did he lived quick. He probably lived quick. But really, you know, you, you crank up some old doors every once in a while, you're like, wow, man. They did it. <laughs> they did it. Uh, I always like Riders on the Storm. Way back in the day, I used to like doing that piano walk. <laughs> That's how I taught myself guitar is off piano, but I haven't even touched a piano in three years. I'm just trying to think it. That would be hard, really, because you got to space everything out. Okay. playing that piano solo on guitar that'd be, that'd be beast <laughs> seen a lot of that uh they made a piano classic tribute to iron maiden that was one of my favorite albums ever really reminds me of a lot like of debussy if you ever look at the old classical music that's a, said they're praying for your wife, so I hope everything's okay. Uh, uh, man, so, sorry, you know, I don't know what's going on, but uh, you got any requests? I can try to learn them for you or try to pick it up by ear without listening to anything, you know, just memory. <laughs> Being retarded tonight. Things 
I can tell you that I know that word that destroy the cancer cells is alkaline environment. Uh, pretty much anything that uh, organic fruits that have a high alkalinity, a constant consumption of that. Take colloidal silver water, or you know, take pure 999. You need pure pure silver. Wrap copper wire around it. Take four nine volt batteries, positive, negative, negative, positive. Uh, you know what I mean? Run your copper to positive, negative. You know, make two wires, wrap it around, and put the uh, silver into uh, even alkaline water would probably be the best. And sit there and let the ions fill up in the water, and it'll pull anything negative that is not naturally out of the body out. Uh, those are the two best things I know to be cancer, but I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving you medical advice because, you know, people that do that end up in prison for life. But uh, I'm just saying what a Native American has taught me. So pretty much uh, high alkalinity because uh, no viruses, tumors, or cancers can live and thrive in an alkaline environment. It's proven. I can pray and I can give you advice, you know, it's knowledge that I have that I'm bestowing upon you, but, uh, yeah, that, that sucks, man, it, it's bad, it's all over the, this world, it's eating people alive, my grandma's had cancer like seven times, she's 89, I think, I'm getting ready to go see her. My cousins ate up with it, I heard. But yeah, it's bad. <laughs> I'm grateful that I should probably learn some new song. Southeastern Kentucky. I've never even looked it up on the thing. I just get letters from her. Um, they sold the place in Indiana and moved far away from there to get away from that evil place. And uh, I don't know. If, uh, she's never even seen the ocean in her life. That's crazy. You know, I'd love to take her to the ocean, but you know, I don't know. it is what it is. She's old, and right now it'd be a great thing for her to see, but. It's hard for her to move around and stuff, and she wouldn't want to go anyways. But she loves eating fish. Uh, she grew up in Indiana and Colorado, and now she's in Kentucky. Uh, I think she was born in Canaan, Indiana, and she lived out near Boulder, Colorado in the 50s, maybe 40s and 50s with Papa, and then they moved back here to Madison, or back over there to Madison, Indiana, and, and everything went to pop. The whole town with the shit. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm just going down there, see her, and I'd like to take her out. And she loves fish, so I'll go buy her fish dinner. If I can find a place to catch some fish, I'll catch it fresh and cook it for her because she'd really, one of her favorite things, go catch some bass. One time I caught one I was going to mount on the wall because it was eight pounds, an eight pound largemouth bass. Biggest bass I've ever caught up north. Huge. I mean, it was tails hanging out of the five-gallon bucket like that, flopping around, having hell trying to get back to the house, and it was just amazing. The storm was coming through. I just got to catch a big fish, and bam, just two foot from the shore. I grabbed it and pulled it out. It was crazy, and uh, took it home and jumped in the shower because I'm covered in mud because I'm fighting this thing. It, it broke the line. I, right there, I jumped on the fish. like It, <laughs> it was a battle. I got that thing home which was a half mile down the road, 
because that was up at Johnson Lake and uh, put it kind of in the sink halfway hanging out and I, I was just covered. I had a little bit of blood and mud on me and <laughs> I was uh, just trying to clean up. I come out. Grandma's already had that thing cut open. It's flopping on the counter and she's cooking a big old thick steak. She's like, oh, I'm glad you brought me a big delicious bass. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but yeah, it, it was beautiful. We ate that fish, had some leftover, and uh, I fed the head and the guts and everything uh, to the coyotes or whatever animals out there on the railroad tracks. We always toss their leftover food to the animals and stuff, throw it away because even you know there, if you do throw it away, they're gonna get your garbage can. So we we just toss our slop out in the ditch. But yeah, she loves fish. We go fishing all the time. Her her brother owned four ponds and was a commercial fisherman and sold uh, fish commercially. Uh, he, I don't want to get into that. What happened? But uh, yeah, she was born July fourth, nineteen thirty-two. Uh, yeah, quite a while, ways away. But you know, she's blessed. Yeah, I, I love fish. Mainly, I try to stick to fish and chicken and beef. Or as meat. Yep, Independence Day. <laughs> Play ball. Well, thanks for hanging out, man. I guess there ain't much to do down there in Austin, Texas. You can go ho hog hunting. You probably don't eat pork, though. I, I, I try to keep away from pork. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. You know, it came from Goodwill. Uh, Shopgoodwill.com. It's an auction site, man. I get stuff real cheap there. As I said, I paid $18 for it. You can tell my fingers have torn that up just from the little bit of play I've done. But I got two more acoustic guitars back there, and this sounds better. And I, one my brother bought and paid too much for, and the guy ripped them off because the neck ain't straight. It's, I don't know if it's a rod there. Or, I don't know. I'd have to pay more attention to it and mess with the screw and all that. And then I got the one I bought from Jane McQuiggan, which, like, I was in love with this girl, but I was afraid to be too affectionate because she was too perfect, you know? I would have married her before uh, I ever did anything with her. And, like, I slept in a bed with that woman. We never did anything, which was pretty cool. But then, you know, this is life is different. But we played music together. She loved playing music, and I bought the guitar off her because she was selling it because she got a new one. And that was back in 2007 or 8 or something like that, and I've always held on to it. I don't get rid of it. That's one of the guitars I held on to, homeless in Florida and Texas and everywhere. Just took it everywhere. This time I'm going to leave it in Kentucky, though. And I'm taking this one. What kind of music do you listen to?
I'm gonna actually pull the lyrics on that, I think. Rap and jazz, yeah. I don't know too much about rap and jazz. Uh, there's some good beat, like, if they got a good beat and good message in it, I like it. It's kind of like a, adult stories that are quick, but there's some that's just like disgusting. <laughs> Uh, jazz, yeah, that's really complicated guitar. I've never learned jazz guitar. Like, that's a totally different thing, you know. That'd be something to learn and be able to throw into something. I know I do like Prince, and I, I believe he threw in some jazz in there. Ballads, like, uh... Are you ready to rock? Mm. Yeah. I want to suck! I want to socks. <laughs> or uh, I'm trying to think, like monster ballads, or like I'm trying to figure out what ballads are. Uh, like old rock, or or is it like ballads of like old school rap, or like old school rap was pretty cool. You know, the very beginning of hip hop. How about Angie by the river? When will the clouds all disappear? Wild, wild horses, come and take me away. Uh, I don't know the lyrics. I try. If I think about it, I'll, I'll hear the sound and I'll try to pick it up. Those were the old days. Yeah, I like CCR, uh, Joe Cocker. I, I, I haven't played Joe Cocker in years, but I bet you give me a minute and I can nail that. Right, you, do you like Joe Cocker? His Woodstock, like <laughs> he's tripping on acid so bad, man. And he still pulled it off, though. Keyboard, what was there? I know there's a video of me making stuff up on keyboard, a few things on the old Facebook page, but. I can't get on there, but if you can find my Facebook page, uh, I got like, I don't know how many videos on there, there's a lot. Man, there's so many songs I need to look up, but I haven't really done it. That's what's wrong with me. Oh, I used to be able to play a lot. Uh,
I'd have to hear I haven't even heard that song forever. I don't have a radio in my vehicle. And I don't really play much radio on YouTube. I'm always watching praise videos and stuff like Next Channel. Uh, you know, Zen Garcia. And then I watch the wild stuff and then the news, you know. The real news, you know. Our brothers that are discussing what's really going on and stuff. Uh, I could name off all kinds of channels. Shout outs. But, uh, No, sorry, I got that Joe Cocker song. I'm trying to figure out how it goes. What would you do? Hey, thanks, really. Have a good night. I'm going to sit here and uh, just keep rocking it out. If anybody's willing to watch it, cool, bless them. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, thanks for stopping in, and uh, peace be with you, and prayers for your wife. And uh, if you can, try, try to work on alkaline diet. Make sure it's all organic. You don't want to get anything that's not organic. Make sure there's a 9 for starting on the barcode. All right, peace. Whole Foods, if they're still down there. It's been a while since I've been to Texas. But, uh, all right, take care. Peace and love. Later.
get high with my friends. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it just takes a little mental power. Uh, you gotta exercise your brain. Go to shit, you can hurt more. Oh, I can't wait to get venture out and do the walkabout. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it lower, 432. <laughs> 432. So what's up, man? How's Hawaii? How is cannabis illegal in Hawaii? I figured that'd be like, we're in fucking Hawaii, man. <laughs> wow. Probably one of my buddies' mom had a hard time finding it there, and she had to talk to the natives, and the natives like, oh, it's Pakalolo, Pakalolo. <laughs> yeah. I guess just talk to the natives, man. That volcanic herb is good. Really good tasting, smelling, makes you feel good, laugh, happy. Thank you. 
Laundry goes on. Mercy. The bugs are falling from the sky. My five O sucks. <laughs> I fuck that up and just make it for the Hawaii. <laughs> man, that sucks, man. I wish I give the land back to the native people and anybody that wants to come there and respect the land. Man. <laughs> Jay Heretic is lurking. Yeah. Uh, give me 12 minutes and I'll log off and I'll go over there. Listen to the Heretic. <laughs> Yeah, I'll go listen to the heretic. Fuck yeah. Yeah, so. Let's see all Sunshine and lollipops. Uh, Tom Waits inspired me for this. I'm gonna fuck up the lyrics because I haven't. I only played this one time. Here's one for you, Jay Here, Nick, if you're watching. I remember when cops were good and drugs were bad. Back before I woke up to the nightmare I had, my hand is awakened to the mental incompetent nation, the indoctrination of the mass they call civilization. I sit here idle with a gun to my head. My safe masters collect as they feed me bread. They try to rule me using magical words. Cage up my body like I'm a pet bird. Tell me it's the land of the free, but I know I'm a slave. They locked me up for trying to be brave. Freedom of speech. I never hurt anyone. It's a nation of cowards. A ticking tie bomb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, no, that's some country teary ass bullshit. The things I miss while I'm in jail. Okay. The things I miss while I'm in jail are the basic things I need. 
I miss fresh air, the wind in my hair, and the dirt being under my feet. I miss the taste of fruit, and I miss planting seeds. I sure do miss the music. I miss playing in the streets. There's so many things that seem so strange I miss that I can't see. My dog has died, my family hides, and my friends have all been discreet. I do miss going to work. I miss the bed with clean sheets. I miss the stars and buffet bars, the rains and lightning streaks. Sitting here in jail, I'll never be the same. I'll never miss the smells or never miss the pain. But God will always be there when I pray for on my bed. Sometimes I wish this was a nightmare that I just fell and bumped my head. But this is life and through the strife I'll make it out one day. Dead or alive, I don't care, but I'm having a fucking parade. Oh, I don't know. If it, no, this is where it's starting here. Laura talks to World Cup with Scouts. I can look at all the other things. I can look at all the music. I can hear some strings. I don't know. So, cheers. Is the heretic in the field? I don't know. What's that one song? ice fucking cold it was in the window and it dropped to like 30 degrees and i'm in a vehicle <laughs> of course it's gonna change the tune these strings are really pop anyways <laughs> See if the heretics on the crown, as you say. So we'll see you around, Autotron. Peace. Oh, yeah. Good.